Hi, and welcome to another video on ImageR. In this video, I will show how I created the test pattern from the video before. Let's start. First of all we will open the website image-r.com. Now, we can upload our image. The test pattern should have a range from 159 to 318 dpi, so we will resize it now to 159, the size can be whatever you need. Next step would be the material, I want to use the Kasia algorithm for this pattern. Last step is to download the prepared image as PNG or BMP. After downloading it I will go to the downloads folder and rename it to 159, so I don't get confused which DPI value it was. Now, we click again on upload and upload the original image again. Use the same size as before in the resize tab, but change the DPI to 169. Also use the same material to have a fair comparison after. You guessed it, we have to redo this step now several times with all DPI values we want to test. I will speed up this process now, since it is basically the same step over and over again, until we reach 318 DPI. Great, now we have the same image prepared in the different DPI values. I will create a new folder and call it images and move all the dithered images in there. Now go back to image art and upload the first processed image, in my case the 159 DPI one. Click on crop, activate the square crop option and change the measurement to mm. If you will leave it on pixels the area will get smaller and smaller, when the DPI get higher. Now I will set my square to 30mm and place it on a high detailed area, for example the eye. After I cropped the image, I have to download it directly, no resize, no materials. Click on upload so we can move on with the next size, 169 DPI. You guessed it, we will repeat that process now for every image we have made before. When we are done, I will create a new folder in the downloads folder called crop, and drag all my crop images in there. We haven't renamed the files, because we know the first three digits in the file name is our DPI. Now let's import each cropped image into Lightburn, I will place the lowest DPI on the left side and move on until I have all imported. That's imported so you won't get confused about which file has what DPI value. If you're not sure if you have already imported an image or not, just count the images in Lightburn and in your folder. If you haven't done that, or it is not automatically on your folders, it makes sense to sort your images in the folder for names, so it is starting with the smallest, 159. Now I will choose the text tool in Lightburn and write the correct DPI number over each crop. Open the image layer and make sure that the pass-through option is enabled. If you forget about this, the whole test is pretty much useless, since it gets double dithered with a wrong value then. I will also show you on one example how you can do the setup in RD Works if you don't use Lightburn. This information is only for RDWorks user, if you're not an RDWorks user, you can skip that.
Open the BMP layer in the top right corner and make sure that the step interval is correctly. For example on 159 dpi we would need 0.16 millimeters. If you would another dpi size, you have to change the color of the image by clicking on a color in the bottom line. Then you will have another color in the top right layers and you can set different step intervals for different dpi. Great, I hope this was helpful and you can create now your own test patterns with your images. I know, it looks pretty time consuming, but normally you don't have to create such a big range. If you have done it once, you can make the range smaller, for example from 212 to 318. Thanks for watching, please subscribe the channel and like or even comment this video. Have a great day, and bye.